Hi guys, welcome back to another Football Manager episode. This is club number one, episode number five of Tuna's Travels Around the World in 80 Plus Clubs. Now, if this has been done correctly, this will be the first video that comes out once the full version of Football Manager has been released. Now, I am recording a week in advance at the moment, purely because I work in delivery um, and obviously like Friday and Christmas is about to come up, so I want to make sure I've got enough ahead in case I do need to have a day off because of a busy day at work. So for the next week, you will still be seeing the beta version of this game. So just keep that in mind, and after that, we'll be on to the full version. Now, to take us through where we've been since we were last here, obviously the Steel and Suns Cup final, the 3-0 victory over Belfast Celtic. We then went to Newington and drew 0-0 in a game that I was very, very annoyed with. Obviously, we beat them twice already this season. We were so poor in this game. Absolutely nothing happened. Uh, was not happy whatsoever. We then played in the Northern Irish Cup fifth round. We played Armagh, who battered us early this year. This time, a 3 all draw. We beat them on penalties 4-3. Uh, my first experience with a penalty shootout on FM21, so it's a bit of a shame that I didn't get the chance to bring that to you. But we were through to the next round, which we were playing Newry City AFC in the division above us. We then played Dollingstown in the league. We beat them 5-1. Tony Tomelty scoring four goals. Josh Connery getting one. We had Radford sent off after half an hour, so we played an hour with 10 men. And, you know, it was a fantastic win for us that we really, really showed our quality. Green Island then in the Intermediate Cup third round. Another two from Tamelty, one from McAllister, gave us a 3-0 victory. And then we played Distillery, and we were 1-0 up in this game till the 85th minute, and then we bottled it and lost 2-1 against Distillery. It was incredibly, incredibly annoying. He sent Distillery top of the table above us. That was our chance, you know, really grasp at the league. But instead, we... Slot into second place, and Armagh and Distillery have that game in hand over us, which is a big worry. We only have seven games left in this league. So today's episode, we are going to be playing Armagh in the league, and then Newry City in that Northern Irish Cup sixth round, which is the last sixteen. Uh, and obviously, one of the cups that we need to win is the Northern Irish Cup. So potentially, if we can get through this round, we're into the quarters, and it, it could happen. So we will see there. Let's go and jump straight into the team that we've picked for the game against Amarg. Muldoon, Henry, Con, Connery and Riddle at the back. Wright, Wilson, Breen and Radford in midfield. And then the main men, Woods and Tomelty up top. You see we'll start to get a fair few links formed between us. We have made a couple of loan signings as you can see. Daniel McElroy has come on loan from Cliftonville. Centre mid, he's a decent player, he's a good little backup for us some potential his contract does expire at the end of the season so that's sort of the reason for taking him on loan same as kieran mcgill on loan from lawn he's um a lot better uh, at right back similar to henry at the moment so he's going to be one of our rotating players he's literally just come in this is going to be his first game should he uh, make an appearance so let's go and get into the team as you can see we're sort of getting rid of the reds but we are also losing the greens, which is a little bit of a worry. The transfer window also isn't quite closed yet, so we will, after this game, before the next one, take a review if there has been any more signings. Let's go and pump some fists, tell them to impress me, no reactions whatsoever. But, you know, here we are. Game against Amarg, who... We beat under penalties recently. Struggled against them in the league though earlier this year. So ideally, you know, we can pull out a better performance this time and continue the fight for promotion at least. Um as the ball comes over towards Woods, it's either clear. Or Mark in the blue, obviously we're in the green at home. Barres, Lavery, Donnelly some lovely little football here Carvin is open he shoots from range and it's just gone wide and um we need to be closing them down a little bit better they've got a free kick now here Carville 
delivers and Henry clears. It's going to be kept in by Tavares. Cross comes back into the box. Green heads clear. Wilson, is he going to get there? He is. Chance to run down a wing. He's got space to move into. Can he find a pass? He goes backwards instead to Henry. Con. Looks forward for Tumulty. It's easily intercepted. And now Omar comes forward yet again. Lavery. And Donnelly. Hines. Too much space for him there. Man gets to him. 1-2 with Donnelly. No tackles going in. Lavery's into the box. And it's a good save by Muldoon there to keep us level. We have just gone a bit more cautious. Look to try and hit them on the counter-attack. So we are struggling early on. Muldoon claims the cross. Just slows it down a little bit. Allows players to sort of get forward. And um, 20 minutes. Decent. We're going to, are going to demand a bit more from them. Radford didn't react great to that. But the rest of them were average. And there's not much else happening in this half. Henry heads to right. And if our strikers can get forward and into some space. In fact Wright's going by himself. This is a fantastic run. Can he pull it across? He decided to shoot instead. And yeah. That was disappointing. Very, very disappointing there. And we're coming towards half time. Could this be a final chance for our Marg? I also keep changing the pronunciation every time. Lennon looks over the top and Tavares is in. It's another good save by Muldoon. And commentator's right, Tavares really should have scored there. Van Gogh just pulled it back level against Dolan's Town. Montero heads over. It looks like we're going to go into half time at 0-0. Um, I mean, we've seen very, very little from us. I don't think we have been the better team. Try and relax them a bit. Tell them they've got no pressure. Before I put pressure on in like 10 minutes time by demanding some more from them. We really aren't doing much at all this game. But then neither are they really looking at the stats. We are an hour in. We... Let's bring McElroy on for Breen. And, you know, see if we can get anything from one of the new lads. Not much is the answer right now. Let's now go very attacking these final 15 minutes. Going to demand more. We've got a free kick towards the back post. Punch clear. Con. Connery. Back to Con. Henry with a bit of space out wide to run into. Instead he checks back and finds Con. Ball goes forwards towards... Woods buried, he did look offside, it is offside. That was a decent opening though, that's promising. But yeah, he definitely did look offside, there was just three of them that just, you know, hung forward. It was tight in the end, good call by the assistant. Let's go and bring McGill on for Henry and... I don't know, Anderson on for Radford? Radford hasn't had a good game. Uh, we've already demanded more. It's had a decent effect on them, but it looks like this may peter out unless we want to get a final highlight. We are going to get a highlight for them, which is a worry. Con gets his head to the ball. Smash forward again. Donnelly towards O'Hare. Con tackled, but McGill gets to the ball. Knocked forward, but Lennon is there first and... Here we are again with a quick one-two touch football. Good tackle by Connery, but what is that clearance? Fortunately, Wright gets there, smashes it downfield. McElroy wins the tackle to Woods. Over for Tumulty, takes a touch into the area, shoots, and he's pushed wide and he back Tumulty to do better there with the amount of goals he's scored this season. Corner coming in there from Wilson. Cleared. Wright's going to get there first. We've got three additional minutes. Are we going to get a winner? Not like that. We are not. We're into stoppage time. The highlight is still going on. Lavery's throw. And Mullen 
back to Casey who knocks it forward. Connery easy. Woods in space. He was apparently offside anyway, but that shot was atrocious. And this is going to tick out. It's going to go full time. It is a draw in the end. I'm going to tell them I'm far from pleased. They are motivated. Um, so that's a little bonus. But unfortunately, not a great start there. A 0-0 draw for us. So as you see, the transfer window closes in a couple of days. We'll be back for the new game. And I'll take you through all the transfers as well then. Okay, so we are back. For the final game, we've made three loan signings this month. Uh, you've already seen Daniel McElroy coming on loan, pretty decent centre mid, or you'll grow into one at least. Kieran McGill, that right back, plenty of pace, plenty of stamina, he can get up and down all game. And then the final one on the last day of the season from Institute, Paul Brady, 18 year old centre mid, and he is he's a pretty good player indeed. So we are going to go and play the Northern Irish Cup game versus Newry City they are 10th in the division above us so just above that playoff place so we could potentially be playing them come the end of the season uh, do I want to make any changes so we've got to keep on the bench with the 7 subs I might bring Brady in for Breen shall we I think we will. Breen is currently uh, under offer from Armagh even, so we want to keep him. I don't know. Uh, yeah, because he's, he's match sharp, we'll keep Breen in there. So Muldoon, Wright, Con Connery, Riddle, McAllister, Wilson, Breen, Radford, Melty, and Woods. Hopefully we can go and get a win in this game. Even if it takes penalties again, I will I will go through extra time and penalties should I need to. We are going to cautiously tell them they would expect anything, so go and play with zero pressure. We are starting out on positive though, we are going to try and catch them out early on. Maybe they're going to expect us to, um, you know, sit back and um, be the underdogs really. But we're not going to do that. We are going to go for it. If we get battered, we get battered. But I have my way of playing football. And that is what we're going to do. And as you can see, we've got an early highlight here. The ball comes over to the top to Tumulty. And it's blocked and we get a corner. And that was a chance there. Chance and a half. We do have a corner. And we ignore that. I want to play early crosses. Corner comes in and Mitchell saves from Con. Uh, referee's given a free kick anyway. So it wouldn't have counted. But, you know, a decent start. And that's what I, I say I wanted. I wanted us to come out of the blocks and and have that chance. As Rice smashes it back forward. Mitchell quite easily picks that up. There was nobody getting on the end of that one. Mitchell tries yet again, though, to get it downfield. And Wright picks it up once again. Goes back to Muldoon. No pressure on Muldoon. He's got his time. Connery looks forward for Woods. Knocks Radford here. Zoom in a little bit. That seems to reset quite often. Over the top for Woods. And that's a chance. And Mitchell saves. We've had two pretty big chances already in this game. And uh, at what point are we going to regret not taking them? Throw in here from right. Header clear. They are also first to the ball. He knocks down field for McCabe. Who's going to get there? We're not getting people back quick enough. Riddle tackles. McGovern. And we're down one nil that is so underserved we've been the better team let's go and fire them up and well this is riddle he didn't come back well enough he tries to make the tackle and he just falls from mccabe who pulls the ball in con doesn't get tight enough to him and he smashes home pretty decent finish in the end but we're one nil down mcallister yet again overwhelmed by the feedback riddle finds woods Ball comes in, cleared out, and they've got the ball yet again. McGovern finds McCabe yet again into the box, saved, and it's 2 0. <sighs> that is so annoying. 
I knew we'd regret not taking them chances. Just knew it. And yet again, far too easily, Connery this time just lets McCabe get past him. It, Muldoon probably should have done better. I can't fault Muldoon though. He's had a decent season. And we're going to demand more now. We're 10 minutes from half time. We've gone to a counter attacking style. Ball comes over the top for Woods who shoots just wide. And oh my god. They've not reacted well to this. I'm not happy one bit. We've been the better team to start this game. And just haven't done anything. We're going to go into half time. Are oh, we? We're not. We've got one more highlight before the half. Con heads to Tomelty. Breen. Tries to free ball. Tomelty's going to get there. And it's 2-1. Game on. 29th of the season. Tony Tomelty. What a player. What a ball that was. The keeper probably should have come for it. He should have done a lot better. Breen, as you can see, he just comes forward. And gap opens up. He slides it in. The keeper could have easily come from that. But Tumelty slops in at the near post. It's 2-1 and game on at half time. Going fresh from... No, let's... Point the finger. You've been unlucky. They're motivated. This is what we want. We want to come out. And let's try and take it to extra time at least. Wright is struggling for his rating. We may have to take him off. Just picking up bookings now. Let's go and demand some more again. And Wright's going to come off for McGill. We're going to make that change. McGill can come on. A few plays frustrated yet again. With us demanding more. Goal kick from Mitchell. Won by Breen. Then Lawless knocks it down to McGovern. Healy looks forward. It's flicked on McGovern into the area yet again. He's pulled it wide. It's a big, big chance for them to go 3-1 up. And at what point do I start to go more attacking? We've got more possession. We are going to go attacking. Throwing from McGill to Tomelty. Cleared forward. We've got time there. Connery knocks forward. For Woods. And that's onside. And it's 2 all. I thought he was offside. Woods gets his 20th goal of the season. We're back on level terms. And what a finish that was. I really thought he was offside. Hence the delayed reaction. Just knock forward. And the defenders were too slow getting out. And such a difficult chance. But a fantastic volley from Woods. It's 2 all with 15 minutes left. Can we go and like nick this? Let's go praise them. We fought back. They're all happy with that. Last 5 minutes. We've got a throw in in our own half. Riddle just knocks it long. Hughes back into the box I can't see a thing and it's offside thankfully Jesus Christ how close was that I don't know what Riddle was doing he should have just played it to this man it was a distance offside in the end Connery's going to come off Brady's going to come on throwing into the box header clear is Breen going to get there first he's not McCabe is a little back heel to Hughes Hughes driving forward they've got men over Tipped by the keeper. Fender can't get his head to it. And the striker was offside in the end. Living dangerously. Let's go back to cautious. And it looks like we're going to go to extra time. We are going to go to extra time. Cautiously tell them they've been unlucky again. Motivated. Brady is looking complacent. Let's. I wish you could just, you know, click this one instead of having to uncheck them all that's incredibly annoying there we go we've motivated Brady as well we've got that complacency hopefully out of him we've got a throw in now Riddle finds Radford back to Riddle Breen with space on the edge Breen shoots Ooh, decent effort that was a fantastic chance from Breen and so, so close. Wilson and Con apparently need replacing. We don't have another centre back we can bring on. I mean, Brady also isn't a centre back, which is a, a worry. Uh, McElroy can come on there. Do we make any other changes now? I don't think we do. 
We've got a corner. Riddle's corner comes in. It's header clear. It's going to come back to Riddle. Can he get another ball into the box? He can. For Woods, and that's a decent save from the keeper. That was a big, big chance from Woods again. Hopefully, don't throw this one away. Con's free kick over the top. Tumulty's in. Tumulty, we're winning. It's 3-2 to police service in Northern Ireland. Tumulty backs his 30th goal of the season. It was a ball over the top. That's his 50th goal overall for PSNI. Con is struggling with replacing with Henry. We haven't got a centre-back on the pitch now. But Tumulty, a lovely finish to slot that into the bottom corner. We've made all of our substitutions. We're at half-time and extra time almost. Do I go more defensive? Rocks with the ball, he delivers it into the box. And the header was missed there by the defender. McGovern puts it wide and this is getting tense. We're half time and extra time. Do, oh, what do I do? Do I go more defensive? Do I stay cautious? They've got a free kick now. Hughes to deliver. It goes short. Back to Hughes. To Rocks. Back out to Hughes with space. We're looking to work it well. Montgomery, that looked offside. It's not, it's onside and it's free all. I knew we level up. I was certain he was offside there. Tommy Lockhart. And let's just watch down the bottom of the screen. He's on, he's on. Ooh, it's tight. It's very, very tight. But the goal stands. We are about to see how tight it was. And he's leveled just. Ah. Oh. Praise them again. I mean, we're, we're battling the team above us. We've got four minutes left. It's a highlight. Please not like this. Let's at least take it to penalties. Magill. Knocks it forward. To Multi, he's going to get there first. He's not. Mitchell's going to get there before him. Three minutes plus stoppage time to go. Mitchell's long ball forward. Henry tries to head clear. Radford goes back to the keeper. Muldoon takes his time. Looks forward. Woods picks it up. Can he find a pass? He looks out wide for McElroy. McAllister delivers. Smash clear. Now they've got a chance to break here. McCabe is in. McCabe's one on one. And it's a big save from the keeper. Magill just smashes clear. We are going very defensive now. One additional minute. We're going to penalties. We are going to penalties. Second round now. We've had a penalty shootout. Let's go and pick our takers. Brady. Uh, McElroy. Radford, a riddle, Breen, Magill, Muldoon, and McAllister. So as you can see, we've done it in terms of penalty ability. We're just saying we've gone for composure first. Team talk here, cautiously. Relax, pick your spot. Don't change your mind. Few players calm, Brady complacent. And here we are, penalty shootout. Woods to take the first one. He missed in the last shootout. Put us on the back foot early on. Woods scores this time. That is what we want. McGovern steps up. What can we save this? No, he sends the keeper the wrong way. It's one all. To Melty. Two goal hero in this game. And he's hit the post. It's a big miss. Rock's now the centre back for Nuri. Goes and with 2 1 down in penalties. Henry really has to score. If he misses this, we're in big trouble. He does, he buries it. Bottom corner, different side to where we've been, apart from the miss penalty now. A cave. Come on, Muldoon. Goes. Keeper doesn't move. Good penalty in the end. Brady to step up. 3 2 down.
And, well, he just continued the whole run-up the entire time. Free all, O'Keefe. We need him to miss this. O'Keefe steps up, and he's blazed it wide. We're back on level terms. It's now sudden death. McElroy, if he can score, we put all the pressure on them. McElroy, ball on the spot. Steps up, and it's saved, and that's a poor penalty. And if they score, we are out. And it's the keeper, Mitchell, stepping up for Nuri. Oh, I don't want to watch. I really don't want to watch. Mitchell. Goes and we're out. And that is heartbreaking. We were the better team in my eyes. And I'm going to thrash my arms. And I'm going to tell them I'm far from pleased. A few of them did motivate. But we should have won that. And that is a trophy that we needed to win for this challenge. Which we haven't. <sighs> so, you know, all in all, not a great episode. A 0 0 draw, and then a penalty shootout defeat. Um, I'm going to play until the last couple of games of the league season. We'll see what happens in the Intermediate, intermediate Cup, but we'll come back right at the end of the season now. So, if you have enjoyed that more than I have at least, if you've appreciated the episode, hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell to be first notified whenever these videos come out. Until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.